What is going to happen, everybody? Greetings from quarantine. Uh, if you saw last week's episode, then you got to see Nolan intro what would have been our pilot episode of Retro Replay Black Tiger. And you got to see him in quarantine in his little space. So we thought this week I would set up another lost episode for my little space. Uh, now, this episode would have been uh, the first episode of Level 2. But after we played it and we cut it together and we watched it, we decided, nope, and we threw it into the vault. Uh, but mainly because we played Dragon Slayer, and that became such a better way to start off level two. But Drew, in his wisdom, uh, went back into the vault and drug it out, and he and Stephanie kind of cut it up and added uh, some of the newer retro replay treatments to it, so it feels like one of our episodes, but you still get to see one of the reasons why we didn't air this episode. Um, to kind of set it up a little bit, this is right after the holidays, so uh, you get to hear me talk about a lovely little trip that uh, Pam and I took, and we the first time we take Traveler to Hyde Park. Um, contextually, at this point when we're shooting the episode, Nolan is still out of his house uh, because of the Woolsey fires, um, and then we move into really the hard-hitting, tough questions that have just challenged scholars for eons. Betty or Veronica or Ginger or Marianne? You know, questions like that. Um, this is a fun episode, and this time has really given us the opportunity to look back over 88 episodes of this show. Uh, and not only what this show has become, what this channel has become, and all of the growth and all of the change that has happened, and really appreciate what this thing started off to be and what it is now. So, uh, as Nolan would say, without much further ado, we give you another lost episode of Retro Replay Comic Zone. Everybody. Welcome to level two. Bam. That actually makes a retro forward. replay. That's right. But or a peace toe. sign. We could do this. Yeah. We do whatever you need to. As we were wrapping up level one, what I loved every I talk about this all the time now, but the 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 chat that we do, like before the episode starts, that was like the highlight of the week for me. And I love that soup. Oh the live chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that uh, before every episode. What was but like what about? 30 Drew? minutes before, right? Unfortunately, Drew's still here. Damn. Uh, Drew, what, what are we at? 45 minutes or so? Hour 45 minutes? He's really resilient. Like, it's kind of like the Iocane powder. He must have built up yeah. a tolerance to everything that we've given him, because we've given him a lot. He's like herpes. He he's just makes me itch, and he never goes away. It is the glitter of STDs. It is. You can't get it off yet. Yeah. Uh, but soup became a thing. I love that. Uh, I, I noticed that because back there is Drew the, Soup. Drew Soup. Uh, soup for Drew. Um, and just like how like support is now soup. Yep, so exactly. if you've if you've ever seen that on the chat, if you join us on the chat, uh, which yeah. is uh, every Thursday. 3.30 p.m. Pacific, uh, right before the episode airs, um, then you yeah. can join us in the chat, and we're actually on there. We're talking about all sorts of stuff. It feels like everybody gets into Cheers, and then everybody's the norm and the cliff. And the, There's a Woody there. I don't know who that would be. There's a coach. <laughs> I don't know where I'm sorry there. about the Woody. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was. Four minutes. I was playing around some of that Cialis. We made it. Came in the mail. <laughs> no. <laughs> now you need to stick me, and you need to stick me now. I'm having a dick attack. Stick me. Shh, just relax. Yeah. Come on, <laughs> level two. We elevate. No, we don't. <laughs> the fans I'm expect. Clawing no, I want to. I want to find new depths. I'm. We can elevate and find the depths. It's the middle ground that scares me. What? High ground. What have you done? I haven't seen, I feel like I haven't seen you like at all. Like I haven't seen you at all. I didn't see you over the holidays really. There's a point to that. I need to keep it fresh. I and I get a little too much FaceTime with the Troy dog. And it it's was. Like, well, you were running around the globe I, with I your little this? baby and your beautiful wife. I, I did. Okay, so I kind of won Christmas. My wife is the best. You, you won I, Like, if there was a competition for gift giving, Olympic. What do you mean if there was a competition? It sounds like there was. Nah, I made one. Pam is the greatest gift giver in the world. Like, she gives yeah. the most significant gifts. She could be like, you once mentioned that um, uh, this happened to you in your left pocket of these jeans. Well, here's a piece of lint from those jeans. You're like, this is the most magical thing I've ever been given. She's really, really thoughtful. She listens. And so she's taught me how to be a better gift giver. Um, because I used to be able to give extravagantly and I would just throw money at, at, okay. a, at, a, at a problem. But now I'm like, I really kind of take note. So there is a spot at Hyde Park in London that's like kind of like our spot. And if you know the park at all, it's um, you kind of walk in and to the northeast corner 
is uh, is where the marble arch is, and there's a prêt à manger that's on the other side of that. It's like a little place you go and get a coffee, get a sandwich. So we would walk through Hyde means Park. <laughs> it means ready to eat. Um, en français, I'm learning French. We'll get to that in a second. Let me dominate the conversation for just a second. This is really cool. Oh, just for a second? I'm going to show you. I actually have a clip that I can show you of what we ended up doing. So we walk through the park, and normally we've got a little bench, and there's a there's a tree that we uh, like we took a picture of last year when she was pregnant, and so it's kind of like our little spot in Hyde Park. So we're walking through Hyde Park, and these carolers just walk up to us, and they're singing "Hark the Herald Angels Sing," and we've got we call Traveler Monkey, and we've got Monkey right here, and he's uh, he's just woken up from a nap and stuff, and there's this stupid little song that we sing for Traveler, and he just loses his mind, and it's called the monkey song, and we say, monkey, Traveler Hot is a monkey. It's funny, he loses his mind every time we do it. Yep. Verse and a chorus, I, I, I went, spared no expense. And Traveler's not an actual monkey, He right? is not actually a monkey, okay. he is my son. Gibbon? Um, he's a gibbon, he is a crawling gibbon. So these these four carolers start singing, Heart the Herald and just saying, Pam is just like, oh my gosh, this is so magical. And then they look at each other, and they turn the page in their little, like note binder or whatever for yep. songs, and they start saying, <clears throat> Monkey, Traveler Hot. There's no way they would know and this Pam song. Pam didn't know. She, totally surprised, had no idea, loses her mind, and they sing the Monkey song, and then they sing the, the song that we play for him every morning when he wakes up, which is the Beatles, Here Comes the Sun. And uh, my, uh, David, who's like our assistant, and, and just, he's our oxygen tank, he just helps us breathe. He and I spent a month coordinating and finding singers in London. We sent them like the exact Google Maps coordinates to be at this spot between the towers of 12 and 2 to meet us, to surprise us. And that was, that was like my Christmas present to, to Pam. So. You ever afraid David's gonna kill your wife and steal your baby? Yes, because he's ridiculous. Just, just do me a favor real quick and just, just show, there's like a little bit of a clip, just, just. Yeah, if we can incorporate the clip. Uh, Drew, I'd like to see that. He's a monkey. <laughs> he is our London monkey. <laughs> yes, sorry. Do you live up in a tree and go ee ee ee? Now look at me. I like bananas and swinging on vines. I like bananas. That's a real good song. Yeah, it was it was adorable. It was it was it was worth. <laughs> it took a lot. The guy of, on the right was off key. He's a little flat. A little flat? Or, yeah, it was just something about him. No didn't person. like his face. But you did, what did you do? You did, uh... I sat in my rental house. <laughs> because my house yeah. is still not... Uh, it, in fact, we, we shoot our shows a little bit in advance, um, so Drew can survive. And, um, yeah, I'm still not in my house. They're still, they're still working out in, insurance papers and... Uh, uh, we got contractors coming in to uh, finally clean the smoke damage and uh, get on with our life. But uh, yeah, so but you know it was good. It was family. We had family. Um, did a little bit of got out in the snow. Got some skiing up there. It the, dumped in Mammoth, didn't it? For a little while, it just dumped. It literally dumped like four days after I left. <sighs> um, so uh, yeah, I, there were no carolers where I was at, but we had a we had a good time. <laughs> there was there was no fancy travel. My oldest boy is still off on his movie set. He's doing a movie. He's doing, doing a, a movie, a, a post-Civil War Western, and he's still down there. He actually should be back by the time this airs. So um, I, I just, I think that you and I should just show up on set and look at the director and go, now we have an idea. What if we just, were two guys just happened to stumble upon this young lad as he's making his way across the country, and all we do is just sing. Sunset Riders! Sunset Riders! Oh, and then we just ride off, and that's that's all it is. It'd be a short document, like a short mockumentary, mockumentary. kind of thing. Mockumentary. The Spinal Tap of Westerns. <laughs> so we just did a call. That's our first call back of the year. It is. Oh, I gotta check something else. <clears throat> mm. Keep your eyes right here. Whoa, it's level two! Oh. Bang! <laughs> Zoom, there it is. It's back! We have the there it goes. Uh, Watch for Walking. That's, that's who that's supposed to be. In case it wasn't up to par. What else are you looking forward to in level two? <sighs> Dude, there's so much. How about this game today? I've never played this game before. This was really mm -mm, mm -mm. Sega Genesis was like I I only got to play Sega uh, through my friends. So like if 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 
I could play Nintendo. I, I remember I had a hopscotch over to a friend's house, so I, I would go over to like PD's house. Can you remember his name that had the NES and then somebody had like a, a, a Jaguar for like a hot second. Hold on, you, what were your friend's name? You had weird friends. You had, you, it was not, it's not weird. It was Tony and Lily. Lily. Yeah. What is Lily? Is that like L-E-E? -E? -E -E? Todd like Bridges, Gary Coleman. Tony and Lily. Who was Gary Coleman? But there was not a Mr. Drummond. Was it? <laughs> there was not. There was... What about the episode where the guy in the bike shop <laughs> tried the to bike shop. play the wiggle finger with the boys? And here comes our first clip. It's not your fault, son. And I don't blame you. So there's Tony totally and Lily, and then Randy. Randy had the uh, was the one who had the Atari 2600. Matt was the one who had the NES. I'm like going up my street. Um, Please don't. It's just weird. Let's get to the game. All right. So anyway. Uh, I need to learn. Remember, remember the, the, the basis of this show, the foundation of this show, is to bring me up to speed by showing my past that I missed. Making it all about you. I thought the foundation was friendship. The... <laughs> didn't you... Richard Lunch just said, I haven't seen you in a while because I didn't have to. Pretty much. <laughs> I didn't have to. Now we're legally obligated to be here. Okay, 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 so it's a fun episode. Uh, and today's soup for this episode is brought to you by Omax Cryo Freeze. Uh, gaming with pain is the worst, especially if you saw the new PS5 controller. Dude, I don't know, my hands are, it could be like, because you grip down too tight. Uh, many of our replayers know what it feels like to have that kind of discomfort, whether it be joint pain or soreness. Um, you have some kind of pain, maybe it's you've lost your precision or your accuracy, uh, or it could keep you from relaxing or even from sleeping. Well, enter Omax Health. If you're looking to get rid of that pain uh, or that joint pain immediately while providing long lasting recovery, then you need to try the natural breakthrough pain relief solution, Cryo Free CBD Roll On, developed by Omax Health. And right now, we're offering 20% off of a full bottle of Cryo Free CBD Pain Relief Roll On, plus you get free shipping. Uh, this discount also applies towards any product site wide. So just go to omaxhealth.com today and the enter code RETRO. That is omaxhealth.com, O M A X health.com and you enter the code RETRO to get 20% off cryo-freeze and anything else sidewide. So do it. And now, back to Comic Zone. Comic Zone. Where, Sega Genesis game, 1995. Um, do I get one too? Don't ask questions why we're playing on this. Uh, comic book artists with ponytails and fingerless gloves are dangerous, Drew says. Fingerless gloves? Fingerless gloves. Oh, the ponytail. Oh no, does this have Steven Seagal in it? Every fucking one of them. Let's pull it up. I don't remember. Okay. Yeah, you gotta go slide over. Cork sucking, farging eye souls. You lousy cork suckers. You have violated my fargan rights. I have what a what greatest movies we got. Are we going into that? My mother called me once. It called me. My my mother put me on a hook once. 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 Uh, Joe Piscopo. Joe Piscopo. Before he the was all roided out. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, my God, Joe Piscopo. I mean, he had the he had the, he had the bulging eyes anyway, and then best one of the best Frank Sinatra impressions ever, though. Him? Oh yeah. I'm gonna disagree with you there. Um, Do you remember Joe Piscopo's? All right, Stevie. I know that. You know that. But it's too artsy for the public, Kabish. I, the guy from Down Periscope, who was also now in uh, *Halt and Catch Fire*. Oh no, no, he's like, but he's like, like the the That's spot Sinatra. on yeah. Sinatra. What's I'm his name? He's, and he does the young Sinatra. I forget his name. What's his name? Pull it up. He's also the guy in *Vegas Vacation* that sold Rusty a fake ID. No, really? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> Did it on the street? Just on <laughs> the board. Put it on the board, and he kind of even talks like Sinatra, kind of. Right here on the strip. Smile, kid. You're in Vegas. But Piscopo used to do the thing. Sorry. But, but Phil Hartman. Thing. Phil Hartman's had the greatest Frank Sinatra line on Saturday Night Live I've ever heard. What was it? It was the money's on the dresser, baby. I'm through with you. <laughs> it was the greatest. My favorite thing. Right? What is that guy's name? Anybody? So it, Toby Huss. Down Periscope. He did the best thing. He played like the the communications guy. He got a foul ball to the outside, and he goes, "All right, that's it. I'm gonna work on that horn. I'm gonna go outside and have a smoke. I don't want you to work on that horn section." When I get back in, you better have the horn section figured out. I can't work like this. It's so good. I love that movie. Down Periscope. I don't think I've Kelsey Grammer gets a tattoo on his penis. Well, wait a minute now. Are you sure this is a 
Uh, this is a family movie? Yes, it's comedy. Um, I want to find this out. Want a man with a tattoo on his dick. Have I got the right man? Comic Zone. What? The player assumes the role of Sketch Turner. Sketch, sketch. get it? Because it's sketch. comics book. Uh, a starving artist, they're always starving. No one ever's like, you know, the You're very so well-fed, wealthy artist who gets sucked into his newest comic, Comic Zone, during the lightning storm. It always a, happens during a lightning storm. Uh, hey, why is he, artist? He's, he's got a He's got a ferret on his shoulder. Uh, I think it's a ponytail. It could be a gerbil. Nope, it's a ponytail. What kind, of sh what kind of game is this? At the same time, Mortis, main villain of his comic, manages to escape and now Sketch must find a way back to the real world. Um, this is also known as the exact plot of Cool World with Gabriel Byrne. Oh Please. my, yeah it is. Charlie Adler was in that. Was he really? Yeah, Gabriel Byrne, Brad Pitt. Uh, it was like yeah, that... the R-rated version of Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, I remember. And uh, oh, what was it? Melanie Griffith? Was... I don't remember. So you, oh, this is cool. So you fight in the panels of the, the of comic. The comic. Okay. You know your sip how. Just take it easy, big boy. Always fighting. Looks like Brian Bosworth. Oh, <laughs> wow. So wait, 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 wait. What's the sketching there? Is that Mortis plans to free himself completely by killing Sketch while he's inside the comic, and he does this by sketching in enemies, among other among other things. This is also the plot of an AHA video. <laughs> take on me. <laughs> Why are these walls so bouncy? Show it. Um... When Sketch initially wakes inside of Comic Zone, he meets Alyssa Cyan, like the color? Cyan. Cyan, a general who believes Sketch is the I bet she's savior. wearing blue. What do you bet she's wearing blue? She's gotta be wearing blue. She's gotta be wearing blue. I don't know Very if I can clever. get to. clever. Sketch is a bit reluctant to fight, not at all because he's not built like a fucking roided out Venice Beach dude. I knew a girl who had a pet rat. I knew a girl who had a ferret. And she no. named him uh, Bohemian because she was a huge Queen fan. Okay, she named him Raider because she was a huge uh, Raiders fan, football. Um, I don't like ferrets. Rats. Anything that you have to get descented, I don't like. Come in, Sam. Ouch. Oh, like, here you You can get this, like, uh, no, give me the one that stinks. You must be the chosen one. Look at him, he's heaving. Look, he has asthma. <gasps> I can't breathe. <gasps> <gasps> oh, and look, he got the blemish pants. I have been pants. expecting you. He said, these pants I got at Marshall's because they have the uh, the stitching with the X. Sketch Turner. Wait a minute. Sketch? sketch? Yeah, I know. It's, sketch. This well, mission's Sketch, this mission is critical. Critical. What does critical mean? I'm in my own comic book. No! I beg your pardon? I beg your pardon. Alyssa, I'm not your superhero. Just relax. Let's not waste any time. Oh, I think we've wasted enough of time. You have a job to do. Oh, great. Look how she's just nonchalantly sitting there and there's like a jar of mayonnaise, a knife, and what appears to be something that will explode. Explode. We've, we've been to many Comic Cons and we've yes. seen comic book artists. With the exception of Jeff Johns, who's yeah. pretty fit, I've never seen a dude that looks, as you cleverly pointed out and most astutely observed, Brian Bosworth. Like, th that dude is like, yo, I'm not a superhero. I just look exactly like one. I just happen to be wearing this sleeveless vest and hoodie and perfect muscle shorts and have calves the size of people's heads. And, and, and the wrestler boots. And the wrestler boots. I got the wrestler boots. I can't, my calves are so thick, I can't even lace them up to the top. What I love is that he goes, a I like job. To, I like to let the tongue hang <laughs> out. You know what I mean, girly? She goes, I have a job for you. And he's like, no, 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 no. I'm a comic book artist. I don't need a job. There you oh, go. Oh, look at that. Well, let's well, see. Well, let's see. Deceased, uh... Oh, because she's on comms. So she's going to talk to us and say... Wait, oh, shit, shit. I don't know. Find it. Whoa. Oh, I drank some. Your maker. Okay. Your maker, Gravis. This is our turf. Just take it easy, big boy. I'm gonna, oof. I didn't know how to. Wait, 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 wait. That is the Statue of Liberty. You did it, damn you all to hell. You blew it up. You maniacs. You blew it up. Statue of Liberty, oh my God, wait a minute. Statue of Liberty. Where is Snake Plissken? Call me Snake. Uh, I know that movie because that was one of those movies in the 80s that came out when cable hit my town. So I watched it 40 times because that's it's like, oh, I guess I'm watching this again. <laughs> do homework or do this? Okay, do you want do you want to go to the right or go down? Let's go down. I like this. Good design. Where do you want to go? Down. Go down. You want to go, go down? We're singing still. Don't worry. Oh, cool. yeah. Not <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hate these. Drums. I just love these drums. 
Floosh. I just like to run. Hey, what's up there, fella? Hey, I'm going to get the back. I'm going to beat the back. Hey, back off. Hey. Look at him. He's like, hey, I wasn't going to hurt you. Why are you doing this to me? Oh! Look at him. He's like, oh. Oh, shit, shit. I don't know. You're doing very well. Oh, it's not really. Oh, shit. I didn't. Oh, I just kicked you. Mike. Look, a rat. I'm going to sit on. Look at. Oh! Not me. Absolutely not. What did you do with it? Where did I, it go? I just <gasps> Richard geared it right in his... <laughs> I was thinking you'd live in my bunghole. Yeah, it's now in your inventory, so... Uh, inventory? <laughs> Down in the sewers. Mm -mm, Yuck, it's wet This did not here. go well for you last time. Yuck, it's... <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Just making great music. Oh, yeah. I'm going back up. That's... Now, I like the sewers, you know. That's where I do my best work. Can I so say something? Funny. Yes. Still from the 80s, some of that look with the hair and thing from the movies back then still kind of gets us, you know, gets a little rise out of my the the like the short hair kind of like like the Sharon Stone basically. Yeah, instinct. just the glasses, just kind of like I don't really care. No, not that. But still kind of that. Kind of. I snuck into Basic Instinct. I bought a ticket to another ah! movie and went, you could go left and you're gonna go see, this is the movie that your parents told you to go see, or you go to the right and go see Basic Instinct. And I went to the right and saw Basic Instinct. Killing and then kill somebody the way I described it in my book. I'd be announcing myself as the killer. Oh shit. Oh, help me. I can't, I can't, oh there we go. You know, I kinda really like this. I like comedy. You're doing well. I would, I'd like to do this in like an Archie and Jughead kind of thing. Hey, how you doing? Hey, where's Veronica? Veronica or Betty? Veronica. No. Yeah. No, Betty. Veronica's so high maintenance. You know what would be so good? It's like if we ever got some action like that, uh, you and I wouldn't be fighting. Bros before hoes kind of thing. Absolutely. No, Betty. Betty's like, uh, see, Ginger and Marianne. Now that you brought it up, I could think of just one other person. Who? Me. You. Marianne. Yes. Yeah, because Marianne's, Marianne's going to... Mary Ginger's Spirit. just got a cocaine problem, you know it, dude. She's high but, and an eating disorder. Well, Mr. or Mrs. Furley. Mr. Clearly. Duh. But, uh, wait, Mr. wait, wait, Roper, wait. Mr. Roper or Mr. Furley? Norman Fell. Mr. Roper, Norman Fell. Really? Over I, wait, I waited on him. Well, yeah, because Don Knotts has a Mr. Furley, <laughs> now that the Regal Beagle scoring more cocaine. <laughs> I love cocaine. Was it, <laughs> Mr. Roper Mr. Was, the was the spinoff, right? I don't remember. I just remember uh, Furley had the... Uh, what do you think that thing is? All of you what? people that are 30 and under, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I better not look too long. I may fall in love. I, I man, I... What's the password, Gravis? Oh, just... How about the password? Man, look at this place. You designed it. It's like an underground city. This is your comic book. Are you... Game over, man. The end. So I died once, and it's over. Wow, someone was a big Aliens fan. Game over, man! That's it, man. Game over, man! It's game over! Oh, get your rat! I was looking at my rat. What you gonna do with that rat, boy? Lamb's oh. good eating, you know. Okay, let's say good luck. By the way, did, uh, did you know there's some, uh, actually some, some tidbits and some uh, little facts? Don't use that word. Little, uh, little, there's, there's little bits and bobs. That's better, but. Yeah, little bits and bobs here. Uh, it's in this adventure. Okay. So, if the player kills all the enemies in a panel and repeatedly press down on the D-pad... <laughs> I can't even do this with a sketch will fart. Okay, so this is where we've got to. Uh, we are trying to make our character fart. Here we go. This is our turf. Hit the D, hit the D, hit the D Come after on, he dies. kill him first. Time. I know, well, kill him. This isn't that hard. I did this part. And he's gone. He's down for the count. But D P five five six seven eight nine ten. Oh, you just kicked the stuffing out of him. And just when when he dies, I'm doing it. Hit the D. I want to see him fart. This is a thing now. D D D D D D D. Why did Why did you do that? Why Why did you kill him and then jump down all all of a sudden? Do you understand how these things work? Show me the D pad. There's the D pad. This. That's down. That's what I did. That's I went deep down. Pad. You sure that's a deep end? How are we gonna know if he did it? I don't know. If you let the rat go on some levels, he'll rip the paper and dig up a bonus item. Okay. Anytime during the Hold game, on. simply Hold press on. Hold on. 
Oh, at any time during the main game. Okay, after you kill these guys, I got something for you. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the down, 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 down. Is, are you sure that there's not an A, B, C, D pad? What? You said D, on the D pad, right? The D pad. Directional pad. Is that what the D in, for D pad? I wasn't sure there's an A button, a B button, a C button, a D button. Is there oh. no D button? I just want you to fart, man. All right, here's another one. Okay. At any time during the main game, press start to pause. After a few seconds, Sketch will yell, Sega! Hey! He said it! Well, that's cool. Okay, well, that All one right. worked. We can put it in our own fart sounds, too. Is probably. that Aquaman in the sewer? No. I do like the Batman kind of things, like the pow slap. Nice. Heck so. Whack. Whack. He is not farting. He's giving him the D. Giving him the D. You slept in a day. <laughs> What's up? Slept in a day. Was that to uh, Tommy? Frankie D'Amato. Frankie D'Amato. That's what it is. No, but we used to do, we used to make fun of Mikey D'Amatius. Just slept in a day. I don't like this crate. Watch out. Oh, that's going to explode. That's going to explode. Yeah, but do I like? Jump on it. You don't want to mess with that. No. It is going to explode. Then, down here. You land on that stuff, right? <clears throat> right. Said, oh, look at this guy. He said, hey, I was What's just the there. password? Am I supposed to give this guy... That hurt, human. Look, he's like a nice guy. He's like, why would you do that? Looks like a guy who would say yo a lot. Yo. Yo, bro. Yo. I like a fucking lot. I don't want to die dude, dude. Bro. Is there any way to get across that, bro? What is it? It looks like... What did it say? I can't tell because the... The game over at the end. <sighs> okay. You know what's so ironic is that here we are at level two. And some things never change. And we didn't make it to level two. So that's how it's starting? Is that how it... Now, I would say... This epilogue is way too long, by the way. Way too long. It really rewards the enemy. I'm going to rock this world. Well, not with that mustache, buddy. I mean, maybe Silver Lake or Shortage, but... I'll tell you who rocked this world. Who rocked this world? Scorpions. They rocked you like a hurricane, bro. Rocked you like a hurricane. A lot of people don't know that... that Song was actually based on an old country song, you know. I'm gonna rock you like a tornado in Oklahoma. Rock you like a tornado, go spin, 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 spin. Yep, it's an uh, old Patsy Cline. Good, classic Patsy Cline. I thought it was Furlan Husky, but all right, we'll go with that. <laughs> While well, we sort that out. Right. A tornado. a tornado is much more devastating than a hurricane because you can wood, you can put a, a wood on the doors, but in a tornado, everything just it, it's just like being in a blender. We're back, and we're asking you, what do we play next? <laughs> yeah, it's a different shirt, right? It's only because I got too excited, uh, because I get to read the member shout-outs. Uh, starting with the photos on the bar. Not my bar, there's way, way far away. Here are the photos on the bar. Uh, the greatest Drake cosplayer ever, uh, Dean Smith, sup dude. Uh, we also have uh, Anna Huber, of course, and my philosophical brother, the great bearded robot ninja shark, or you guys might call him that, I call him Ryan. I also call him uh, Floofer, but don't ask me follow-up questions. Uh, let's get to the lick the screen level. Is gonna be Melly Momos 87 or Melissa if you're into that brevity thing. Katie Green is the favorite color of things. Skin trade. Skin trade is an interesting one. Uh, Martin. Parent. I keep doing this, but it's actually parenthetical. Uh, and at the odds and B level we have Chavez 291 Dan C of course uh, pay me no mind Robert we will pay you mind uh, and the naughty bandicoot Alexis those are our member shout outs <clears throat> A lot of people think that's insensitive because it's aimed at the people who own trailers. <laughs>